Hello and welcome to my video about emulsifiers and um, what they do to your skin. I'll explain exactly what they are and why they're not good for your skin. So let's get started. So I've got some oil here. It could be any oil, olive oil or anything. Every cream consists of oil and water, otherwise it wouldn't be a cream. A cream is always oil and water. Sometimes it can have a high level of oils or a high level of water, but these two things blended together make an emulsion or, a, or what we call a cream. So here's some oil without any water and I'll add a little bit of water to it. Now, if I start stirring this around, no matter what I do, it will not turn into a wonderful white cream as we know it, yeah? So what do we need to do to make this blend into that? We need an emulsifier, and that is always um, extracted chemically out of an oil and then added to the cream, like with all the ingredients and so on, an emulsifier comes in to make it blend, to make it then be a wonderful white cream like this. That's what we need emulsifiers for in the products. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a wonderful cream. So a good way of imagining what an emulsifier is, is imagine you're cooking something at home in a frying pan. You're frying something and you use oils to fry that thing, a fish or a piece of meat or something like that. And afterwards, you try and clean the pan and you can't get the oil off. So what do you need? Water doesn't blend with oil, the same as this situation, where the oil and the water is not blending. They're just like separated. There's like little bubbles in here, as you can see. They're not blending. So what do you need? In this case, you need washing up liquid. Yeah? So the washing up liquid, which removes the, which basically um, blends the water with the oil, is the emulsifier in this case, just so you can have a good concept of what an emulsifier is. So obviously there's not washing up liquid in your cream, but it's similar basically. It works on a similar basis, just so you, it's easy for you to have a picture of what happens uh, when the cream gets blended. So now that you know all about emulsifiers, and what they cause to your skin. This is how it should naturally be protected, the skin. And this is what happens when there's an emulsifier in the product. So how should a perfect cream be, like how should it be? What would a perfect cream be like? It would be um, without, a, basically emulsifier free, completely identical or almost identical to the natural skin barrier, to the natural skin layer. It would be like if you're applying liquid skin on top, basically, to protect your skin and so on. That would be the perfect cream. Um, basically, God produced, our, like basically created our skin in such a way, even the skin barrier, that no cosmetic chemist in the whole world could duplicate this natural skin barrier. But there's basically almost a duplication of that which exists it's an emulsifier free product and it's the only one that i know in on the market that is and also it's really really high quality and it's basically like exactly like an emulsion like a cream like any others but it doesn't contain any emulsifiers it has soy lecithin instead um, which basically blends the cream and combines it like this, you know, but it doesn't damage the natural skin layer and ingredients like sun protection stays on top of the skin and never enters into the skin or never, like nothing can happen, like no hormone imbalance can occur or no toxins or whatever. There are anyway no toxins in this cream, but nothing can get into the skin or damage the skin in any way or be toxic for the body. So of course you're like, wow, you've never heard of this before. Um, but it's really, I've been researching for a very, very long time and I'm so 
happy that I found my chemist, Dr. Foss, who basically produces these products and has been delivering me with these products for a long, long time. And so basically this is the best, 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 best cream on the market. I will also explain in a separate video why it's the best thing ever, especially in regards to not aging and what you need to um, know about that. So one last question, which I almost forgot about, uh, which you probably have is why are emulsifiers used then if they're so bad? That was my first question when I first found out about it about 10 years ago. Well, the thing is, like most things, um, they're very, very cheap to make with emulsifiers. Emulsifiers don't cost that much money and it's a cheap way to produce a product that is inexpensive and can be sold very expensive. So obviously the case is not with these products, they're like highly, highly, like the best quality you can get on the market. But obviously the, the, the um, profit is not the same as other products. But you also have to consider like these companies have do a lot of market, like these famous companies, no ones that have top models promoting them. Um, they basically um, have um, a lot of money to spend also on other things like advertisement. So the more expensive the advertisement, the lesser the quality is going to be good and the ingredients are also might not be good. So that's just another point that I wanted to say. Basically, it's more expensive to make um, a cream with le soy lecithin, which is basically does blend the product, but it's officially not um, not a, an emulsifier. It's the same thing as if you use stevia, natural stevia instead of sugar. Stevia is sweet, but it's not sugar. It doesn't have any side effects which sugar has. So basically that's, hopefully that will answer that question.